Good good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Kadiri Diverti Osuma. Our guests these days, they pray a prayer that is not good. What is the prayer? Most guys will say, I don't want to have a mother-in-law. I don't want to have a mother-in-law. Mind you, in the scripture, in the book of Numbers, the Lord God says, what I hear you say is what I will do unto you. If you don't want to have a mother-in-law, and you, you got married to this family, you know that somebody gave birth to your husband, and you prayed that you don't want to have a mother-in-law, you are indirectly saying that you, yourself, you will not be a mother-in-law. When the time will come from you to be a mother-in-law, you will die. Because it is what you have been saying. Be mindful of what you say. Because you don't even know the angel that was passing through. You don't even know the horror in your environment. You know what? In the book of Job, is devil himself that reported Job to God. In the book of John, in Revelation, the Bible says the Satan is the accuser of the brethren. Because when you want to become a mother-in-law, you know what? Satan will say, Lord, she said she doesn't want to be a mother-in-law because she doesn't. When she was a girl, she said she will not have a mother-in-law. Thereby, she cannot be a mother-in-law. Do you see it? Connect the dots. Know the way you say something with your mouth because there is life and death on the tongue. That is what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. Life and death lies in your tongue. So if you are using your mouth to say, I don't want to be a mother-in-law, I don't want to be a mother-in-law, you yourself, you will not be a mother-in-law because it is written. When Satan reminded Jesus Christ of, the, he said, the Lord God, I know you are God yourself. You can change this stone to bread and eat it. Jesus said, it is written that man cannot live on bread alone. The power in the tongue. The power in the tongue. Don't be saying that you don't want to be, a, a, you don't want to have a mother-in-law. If you don't want to have a mother-in-law, you, you will not become a mother-in-law, either to your male child or to your female child. Please, as a child of God, as a daughter of Zion, even though you don't believe in Christ, know the way you, because anything you say with your tongue, anything you say with your mouth, it will surely come to pass. Because the scripture says there is life and death on our tongue. Guess, women, know how you use your tongue to ruin yourself. Oh, oh, now, oh, the daughter is planning to get married. The son is planning to get married. And she, look, look, look at the way she just died, Miss Free Rosley. Because we were not there when you say you don't want to be a mother-in-law. Because you pray that prayer, you don't want to be a mother-in-law. Since you don't want to be a mother-in-law, you yourself you will not be a mother-in-law. Let it be frank. Praise the Lord. Let us be wise. We should not be foolish. That is why the scripture says we should be wiser than the children of the world. As a daughter of Zion, as a child of God, don't use your mouth to ruin yourself. Don't use your mouth to shorten your life. Don't use your mouth to cut it off. Praise God. You will be a mother-in-law and you are going to have a good mother in -law. Just pray, say, Father, as I want to get married to this boy, let my mother-in-law take me as her own daughter. I want to be loved. There is a lady, the day she married into the family, she laid her hand on the ground. He said, this family will work for me. My mother-in-law will love me. My sister-in-law will love me. My brothers-in-law will love me. Everybody in this family, they will love me. They will say good of me. And we will live like a family. Today, she testifies about it. Why can't you speak to the head? Why can't you speak to your husband's family? Why can't you, in the spirit, say, 
this family i will be loved nobody will say anything bad of me instead of you to be saying you don't want to have a mother i have a mother-in-law she lived up to her 90 i was one of the beloved not because i was too good but i prayed for it i told myself i said i want to have a mother-in-law the mother-in-law that will love me today i'm equally praying that my daughter-in-law will be my daughter my son-in-law will be my son i will love them they will love me i've been praying that prayer till today and the lord god will grant it unto me in the name of jesus pray that you will have a good mother-in-law that will love you the way Ruth loved Naomi you will cohabit you will co-live you will love each other in the name of Jesus thank you for listening my name is Priscilla Kadiri the virtual summer until I come your way again please subscribe to my youtube channel the virtual summer follow me on facebook David and Priscilla on tiktok and on Instagram. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to what? To comment. I love your input. Share. Like. Until we meet again. Remember Jesus loves you. So do I. Thank you and God bless you. Shalom.